Welcome to this week's Swarf and Chips. We've got a takeover show with Micron Work Holding. However, you may know the product that they sell, which is the Microlock system. This is what's coming up on today's show. However, he is back. Of course, it is Matt Jeunesse. You've been here before. Welcome back to Swarf and Chips. Hello, Lindsay. Thanks for having me back. Yeah, pleasure. And we've got Gio on the team now Hi, as Lindsay. well. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Matt. Hello, Gio. You're <laughs> right? doing all right? Yeah, good, thanks. <laughs> now, these pair have got a lot in common because you both know a lot about vices, don't you? <laughs> yeah. so so we're, they've had a good chat today. Well, we've been competing with each other for about 10 many, years. So, many, yeah. yeah, well, no, no competing <laughs> anymore. Um, now, so of course, um, everyone knows about the Microlock system. Yep. Your company has made lots of advancements. We're going to talk about that a little bit more. But can you tell everybody more about Microlock, how you started? Well, Microlock was started uh, 25 years ago um, by my father. He was a uh, subcontract engineering company. And uh, he basically made Microlock for himself because he had a use use for it. Um, and it went on from there, really. He sold it to a few of his friends in the industry who also wanted it. And then in 94, um, the sales company was formed and, uh, and I joined uh, in 96. So, uh, yeah. So it's obviously a popular product. You know, it was a requirement needed from your father. Yeah. And then thereafter, it's just grown, hasn't it? Well, we now sell globally, yeah. Mm. So uh, all over the world. Mm -hmm. And you're at Mac as well, aren't you? Sorry. We are, yeah. Yes, and you've got the biggest stand that you've... The biggest stand we've ever had, yeah. So it's uh, it's probably the 10th Mac we've done in a row, and uh, this is going to be the, the biggest one, yeah. Oh, great success. Yeah, fantastic, Matt. I mean, I'm very familiar with Microlock. I've, I'm mm. looking to find out a little bit more about the rest of your product about the range. Other products, yeah. Um, but, I, I mean... I think what's really important is the UK manufacturing side of things that you're still manufacturing after all this time in mm. the UK and how are you finding it? Well we're, we're very busy at the moment, uh, probably the busiest we've been for a while and uh, we're expect exporting a lot at the moment and I think that's down to the, uh, the weak pound that is helping us to export and uh, in a way it's making us more competitive in the UK as well because a lot of our competitors are having to put their prices up because of the, the weak pound, whereas because we manufacture here, we can keep a price uh, a price down. That's fantastic. And the microlock still selling really well. Yeah, yeah, really well, yeah. That's yeah. great stuff. So we've also got the dock lock system. Can you tell everyone about this system? Well, the dock lock is um, manufactured in Switzerland by a company called Vischer & Bolly. Uh, they've been going about 40 years, I think. And uh, they, um, dock lock is a zero point system. Um, they started off with a hydraulic one and uh, they've now just launched a, a pneumatic one. So the system's pneumatic, so in this instance it's air controlled. Yeah. Can you explain to us exactly how it works? Well, Dock Lock is a, a zero point system, so you actually, um, it's activated by air, runs off the standard six bar shop air, um, but it works in a safe way, as in you actually put the pneumatics on to. Uh, unclamp the part so it's actually clamped with the the springs inside of the the cylinders right okay and uh, can you explain a little bit more about how it works you know you've obviously people will be able to put their vices on top and just go into a little bit more detail well basically you would start off with the the, the standard sort of dock lock pallet would go on your machine table mm -hmm. um, and that would be your zero point and then you would have different fixtures different pallets that you would have different parts already set up on mm -hmm. um, so the idea is you can just put it on the machine it locates straight on the machine and it's ready to go and as soon as you finish cutting um, you take the whole pallet off you put another one on and it starts pallet again so you're keeping the, the spindle turning well it? yes i like it that's my <laughs> saying and what's the repeatability like uh, it's five microns down to five microns yes. so it's a very very accurate, very accurate product system, yeah. and can anyone use these and what are the machines because i know is it tombstones and cubes that you can put them on what are yeah. the what's the whole variety it can go on a, a th any sort of three or four or five axis machine you can you can you can use the system on yeah Right, okay, and vices, because it's all made from the same company. Yeah, this is it? the Vischer and Bolly Swiss uh, vices, yeah. Right, talk to us through these. Right, it's the same vice, basically, so you've got the same platform, um, and it just comes with different jaws. So we've got the, uh, the, the twin vice here, um, you've got the swivel vice there, so it will swivel for a millimetre out of square parts, and then you've got the, the soft jaws that we do in aluminium and steel. 
Uh, it's a sort of a one size fits all vice, basically. Okay. Well, they, look, they look fantastic, uh, Matt. And uh, just going back to the Dock Lock Zero Point system, it used to be hydraulic, now you've moved to pneumatic. Yeah, well, um, we still do both. I mean, the hydraulic is uh, obviously a lot of customers have already got that. Um, the hydraulic one is a, a bit stronger than the pneumatic one. So if you really need the, uh, the retention strength, then you know, you need the hydraulic. Um, the pneumatic one's been bought out. It's similar in price, but obviously you don't need the hydraulic hydraulic pump to operate it, so it's a bit cleaner and easier to sort of move around from machine yeah, to machine. Definitely, and, and how many ports can you have on the, what's the maximum amount of ports, or what's the maximum um, capacity? Well, the, st the standard ones, um, we do uh, two cylinder, four cylinder, six and eight. So right. And you could double them up, I suppose, and if you, you, you wish to do so. If, if, you, if you wanted to, yeah. Um, so it, is it for, well, it can be a combination, of, I presume, of low and high volume work, multiple mm. applications? Definitely, yeah, for, for any application, really, yeah, it's, like I say, it is keeping the spindle turning and uh, reducing downtime. And reducing yeah. downtime. So, you know, the machine is always cutting metal, and that's what it's about. I mean, so, sorry, Lindsay. No, no, I was just going to say, how has it been a success? It has. We've been the UK, the sole UK agents now for Visual and Body Work Holding for about seven years. And uh, yeah, it's used a lot in the uh, automotive industry, the Formula One industry. It's a lot in that, and also in the aerospace. So, it's used a lot. In that. I mean, what I love about this, these um, centric grippers, if, if you like, what yeah. I can see here is that um, you've got lots of jaw options. So you've got dual station, single station and soft jaw. Yeah. Um, and when we looked a bit deeper into it, I presumed that you would have to make an adapter plate to fit it onto the zero point system. Yeah. But it's just simply a pull stud yeah. and a timing pin. And that's, it goes direct mount it. effectively. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's absolutely, it just screw the, I, I don't know if you could show. Yeah, yeah, I'll right. show you the. So basically you've got the central uh, there is for the dock lock pull stud, um, but we also, to suit other leading brands of uh, zero point systems, we've got a 52 millimeter pitched um, threaded holes there. And That's for the uh, timing pin, Matt. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, but it can also just be bolted directly down to your, your five axis machine. It can be bolted directly to uh, a fourth axis uh, trunnion. Um, so it's completely flexible. Really. Do you need a crimping machine with these units? No, because the vice is uh, 1.6 tonnes of pressure, so it will automatically grip straight into the, into the material. And I see you've got a torque wrench there, so yep. is, that, um, is that just to kind of give you kind of repeatability? Yeah, to give you the, repeatability. The With 80 newton metres of torque, you get the 1.6 uh, tonnes of pressure. That's great. We're going to be discussing yeah. prices a little bit later on because yeah. you've got some special offers. But you've also progressed a little, or advanced, shall we say, um, into a bit of automation. Am I right? We have, yes. Uh, launched at, um, at EMO, um, again by uh, Visha and Bolly. They've uh, just launched a, an automated system. It's a collaboration with uh, KUKA Robotics. And um, yeah, so it's um, we're going to be launching it in the UK in the new year. So uh, I'm quite so we'll excited about that. we'll be finding a little that, bit more. Maybe uh, you've seen that yeah. and maybe at Mac. Yeah, I'm excited I don't know. about yeah. it. Potentially at <laughs> Mac, yes. Yeah. So, touching on automation again, Matt, I found something out uh, again today, um, which I didn't know about, that the microlock, you actually got that in an hydraulic version too. For we maybe do, yeah. For automation. Yeah, and we can actually that um, um, get that uh, plumbed into the M codes of the machine. As, and if so you interfacing it with interface the machine. with yeah. the machine. So then if you've got a robot as well, you can have completely unmanned, uh, unmanned clamping. And we've got a few um, projects out in the field now where we've done that. So and again, is that manufactured in the UK? Yeah, it's all manufactured by Brilliant. ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Now I think we're going to put some pressure on you because you're going to head <laughs> over to Technical Corner okay. with Joe and then you'll come back over to us and tell us a little bit more about some special offers, am I right? Yeah, okay. Fabulous. Technical Corner. I'm joined in the technical corner by Matt Jadess. Thanks for joining me, Matt. Hi Today Dan. we're going to be talking about this new vice, but before yep. we do, what makes a good five axis vice? Well, uh, five axis obviously you normally want to clamp centrally, um, but it's also getting the spindle or where you clamp nearest to the clamping point as possible, and that's what, what makes a good five axis vice. Why is that important? Um, it's all about uh, gripping as near to the part as possible, and when you load, load the part in. The clamping is quite simple. You can clamp from either end and just turn in it. If you use the full 80 
newton meters, you get 1.6 tons of clamping force, so it will grip into the part. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if we talk about different jaws, different manufacturers have got different uh, clamping techniques. Yeah. What have you got here on the on the centre? Well, we do quite a few ranges. We we do uh, a jaw here to suit uh, other. Uh, crimping systems, this will actually clamp the parts that have been pre-crimped on another system. This will clamp in our vise. Okay, and how about soft jaws and things like this? Yeah, we do soft jaws in aluminium or steel. They, um, so you can obviously machine your own profile into them, just like many other, you know, other, mm -hmm. other systems. Okay, another interesting point is, it's a five axis vise, but uh, not exclusively five axis. You can use this, I guess, on the BMC, but I was thinking more of a horizontal machining centre. Yeah, you could. I mean, certainly if you're holding uh, fairly small parts, we do the dual mm -hmm. action version of this um, to clamp small parts, and it's quite compact as well, so you could obviously get quite a lot o onto the machine. But we've also got the, the microlock cubes that we can, we can do Yeah, well. that, that's an interesting point. You sell microlock, and of course you're selling VB as well. So, yeah. so where would you go on that? Where, would, would, you, would you ever recommend this ahead of a microlock on, on a horizontal? Uh, to be honest, microlock is... For three axis machines and horizontals, I would say, um, this is our, our five axis solution. Um, and what else? What, what makes this different? Because so, it's a saturated market, Matt. There's lots, lots of choices for engineers. You're yeah. quite late to the market, in all fairness. So why are people going to buy this? Well, ahead of th all this the other one is very price competitive. Uh, it's £450 for a single acting um, centre vice. That, that's a good price compared to many others. It's high quality. It's made in Switzerland. Um, it's flexible, um, but we have got another range as well that is um, higher quality, higher accuracy, um, uh, and, and more expensive. Um, what, brand is, what brand is that? That's the Hemo, Hemo range. They do a complete range of five axis vices ranging from this sort of size. Um, they do an eight ton vice as wow. well, which is sort of this sort of size, um, but it's eight tons of clamping force. That was actually designed in the in the University of Stuttgart with, with Hemo, so uh, they wanted a high pressure vice and that's what that is. Okay, so you've got the two brands, you're calling this a, a, an eco version I guess, but VB, it's known for great quality, yeah. so why are you going to go for the premium uh, vice instead, instead of this one? Well, the, the VB vice is a one size fits all vice, okay. the reason why it's price competitive is obviously they make them in quantity, um, it's that size, if you want to hold something 200 mil long, it's not going to fit in this vise, and there we, we can do the other the other Hemo mm. vise for that. So maybe it's the 80-20, or for 80% of your applications, this is spot on. This will and work. And maybe for the 20% of applications, yep. you're going to go for, what was the other brand? Uh, the Hemo, the Hemo brand. So with this vise, you can clamp up to um, about 150 mil long, um, anything down to sort of 10 mil. Um, and then above that, obviously, we have to move on to, to mm -hmm. the bigger range. And how about securing it to the machine tool bed? Well, it can be uh, secured um, many different ways. You can bolt it directly to the machine table, a five-axis machine. Uh, you can actually bolt it directly um, to a, uh, a fourth-axis unit um, by uh, because you've got an accurate centre mm -hmm. centre bunk bore there. That will also fit the VB pull studs, uh, and then you've got the 52 mi mil pitch here to suit other. Mm -hmm other zero point, uh, manual zero point mm -hmm. systems. And how about the pull stud? Does that have to be one of yours? No, that can be um, any any range. They're all uh, 25 mil diameter. We could also manufacture a bung in house um, to locate mm -hmm. it on a fourth axis machine. So it would literally locate straight on and, and bolt mm -hmm. through. Okay, so what we're saying is, Micron, your business, you, you, you're very well known for Microlock for yeah. quite some years. That's our core product. Yeah, thousands of installations, but what we're saying here today, you know, we look at us for five axes as well. Yeah, yeah, G give us a look. Um, we, we have a loan system as well now, so I'm actually sending them out to people to trial. If you don't like it, send it back. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks. Cycle Time Challenge. So, last week's Cycle Time Challenge winner is Eli Bromlow. He actually guessed at two minutes for the manufacturing of this component which Geo is holding. The actual correct cycle time was just under three minutes. So Eli, you win a fantastic goodie bag. You need to contact us at swarfermtdcnc.com to, uh, to arrange delivery of that. And within uh, the goodie bag, there's some really sweet merchandise. You've got wine, you've got a power bank, t-shirts, caps, uh, chocolate, and magnets for your machine tools. Uh, post-it notes, it's a fantastic goodie bag. 
Uh, and remember, if you want to actually win one of these goodie bags as well, you need to be watching next week's episode to guess the cycle time of a part that we display during the show. Not everyone makes it through technical corner in just one go, so well <laughs> done, Matt. I it's, survived. It's a little <laughs> bit of pressure, but hey, you know your product better than anyone. So we said we'd discuss special offers, yep. and Gio, you're really impressed with these, aren't you? Yeah, I, I'm very impressed that, that you know the flexibility and versatility that you've got with yeah. these centric grippers and um, what what applications they lend themselves to. We want to know prices. Right. Well, price. We've we've priced them up. To sell them, um, it's a new product in the UK. Uh, the dual action vices are, are £499, uh, the single acting are £449. So, uh, wow. And that's brilliant in this industry because yeah. obviously, you know, it, they're very affordable. It, it, they fit in the market well, yeah. great value and for money. And they're Swiss made, and they're Swiss made. Mm. Does that come with the jaws? At that it price comes or? with the, the gripper jaws, yeah. The, the soft jaws are, are extra, and they're about £50 for a, a pair. Matt, do you, do, you, do you sell these with any other jaw combinations? Yeah, we do the gripper jaws to suit aluminium, plastic and steel, and then we do the embossed jaws that, that fit other crimping station solutions. I mean, I'm really impressed with, with, with what you get, the versatility, the flexibility, the different jaw options, zero point option. You're going to sell loads, aren't you, Matt? Well, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Hope so, yeah, yeah, especially after today as well. <laughs> well, of course, you're at Mac that we know, but they can, yeah. um, you know, anyone who's watching can contact you. Yeah. Now, you are one of very few people that have come on the show for a second time so <laughs> far, so you are going to have your second mug. So thank you for joining us on thanks the show. Thanks a lot, thanks, and, and thanks again for having me on. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for watching this week's Takeover Show with Swarf and Chips. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you want to watch any previous episodes, click on the links here. We have a great show next week lined up for you. We've got some lovely guests from Cogsdill. And to finish off, as we always say, keep those spindles turning.